It turned out to be a very appropriate name, Mbokodo, the stone that crushes. The name of the ANC security department while the ANC was still in exile in neighboring states. The infiltration of South African government spies led to paranoia and the resulting rehabilitation camps became places of torture, humiliation and disappearances. George Dubé's first run-in with ANC security was when he complained about food and conditions in camp. He ended up in the infamous Quadro camp at Kibashi in Angola under suspicion of being a spy. We're doing hard labor. That you would work with a pick or a shovel from, from morning to sunset. Or else you chop tree, chopping wood from morning to sunset. Hot as it is in Luanda. I think you know that it's, it's a hot climate. Then, after all, you don't have water to wash. You don't have a pump here. The water comes with the tank. It's for the officers for cooking and for washing. We used to spend a month or two without washing. We were being beaten almost every day working there. We were always swollen, swollen eyes and swollen mouths and swollen buttocks. We were being beaten with these sticks of coffee, coffee what's name? Coffee trees. So I was taken to that room about 11 o'clock. Uh, there I was beaten at night. Hey. I, I was beaten, uh, my brother. Oh, uh, they told me to Order, strip. Please. They told me to strip my clothing off and remain with an under, an underwear. I did so. You lie on your stomach and pick your legs up like this. Choose the boots out. My, my, pick my legs up. Then they, they hit me with the, the, the uh, electric cords under the feet there. Then my feet were cut like I was being cut by razors. Kunyamane Ranyaka was an MK cadre who disappeared mysteriously. His brother, Mulekwane, has received conflicting statements from the ANC and is still seeking answers. I'm Peter very bitter. I'm not, I know our people, how they think, you know, they mystify the ANC. They must separate, you know, the quest for democracy from irresponsible people. I'm not questioning the ideals of democracy. I've sacrificed my youth for that. 1992, when I came back for the first time from exile, when I was here for a brief moment, we tried to go to Shell House. These people, they acted the way I know, I knew they act. Because I was in Tanzania, I know how ANC officials act. You see, if you are a rank and file person in the ANC, you are nothing. You see, we used to call ourselves in Tanzania rank and swine. Uh, you'll forgive me for saying that. That's why I was not surprised. Towards the end of the third week of the Truth Commission hearings, journalists wondered how these two men, who sit and listen to every word of disturbing evidence, cope. You know, uh, uh, the Archbishop and I are the only two that are attending every day of every hearing for the four weeks. So we probably are feeling it uh, a little bit more. But it's rough. <laughs> it's, it's, it's rough.